Hey guys, my name is Sammy. I'm a classical Pilates teacher and today is going to go over the pull straps exercises. There's the regular pull straps and there's the T-pull straps. And then I'm going to throw in a combination of the two that I learned from Dana Santi. And if you're short on time, it's really great because it kind of takes care of swan and pull straps both at the same time. Um, you know, sometimes you have to pick and choose your exercises because you can't fit everything in a session. So let's go over from swan how to get into your pull straps. So there's two ways that we spoke about. And you come back like this, and then you come on up, squat down, get rid of your sticky pad, take a spring off, and lie all the way down. If you do a different variation, then you might, you know, step off to the side and fix your, fix your equipment. Okay, so I'm reaching forward. Now, in the beginning, you know, I always say boobs on the box, but as time goes on, to challenge people to make sure they find the length, the oppositional length, going backwards, bringing them forward so that they feel like they're going to fall, whew, fall into the well here, makes them have to reach back so that they don't fall. Okay. Now I'm grabbing up above my rivet, rivets, rivets because I'm more forward, and you'll just have to kind of judge where to grab, but you do want to have something to pull. So you're down nice and long, and imagine you're scraping your nose on a mat, lift, the chest lifts, you pull down to come up, and you're pushing your chest forward to lift, and then you resist back down all the way. You tap and you go again, down, lift, and come back, all the way back down, and again. And then you just slide your hands down for more slack for your T, and you reach out to the walls and come back. And then you can try and pull all the way to your hips so long as you're not twisting this way. So you really want to keep those knuckles face up to the ceiling. And this time I'm not all the way down. I really am falling. So you have to find your length. Lift and come back. Now, for a combination of the two, or a swan and a pull strap, you're going to reach your arms nice and long forwards, and then your head is down. You're going to lift your arms like superwoman or superman, and you're going to reach out to the side, and you're going to pull back and lift, and then you're going to come all the way back. It's almost like flying eagle, and lower back down. So really, there's only supposed to be like three pull straps and three T pull. There's not a ton. Okay, so as you keep you keep everything kind of flowing, just know that you don't have to do a million of each. Some things are quite quick. Anyways, that was pull straps on the reformer. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll see you next time for something that has to do with Pilates. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.